making a heck of an impression on me and just about every single one of the other megastars. They have something to worry about because when this man is at his best, he is nearly impossible to stop. He's a big man, but Johnny Mavericks, you know, he, he, he said in that ring just moments ago, he did not travel all the way here for multiple hours on a plane flight to take on a man like this. He wanted better competition, and he expected more from Tritow T. I don't know what he could have possibly expected, but reconcile, bully Johnny Mavericks in that corner. Bully. He's a bully. That's all he is. Johnny Mavericks is one of the people. Well, what I want to ask you, Brian Knight, is you know for a fact that Johnny Mavericks in the past has found himself an alliance teaming up with men like Ryan Storm and Rage, former team sharpshooter. What is the situation with that trio, with that alliance? Oh, we have to see Ryan Storm in a moment, but we're actually sure. Team sharpshooter is on their way. You think they're going to come out and tell people what they're going to do? They're one of the greatest trios to hit the IUWA. What was the point of that? He hit him with a close fist. What's the point? He's trying to take the big man down. That's the point. Is. Oh, Ray Sile just leveled him with that shot. And Johnny Mavis is going to put like a bobblehead doll in his second now. This is an unfair match. With one foot, that right foot, he was able to drop kick him, place him all the way on that floor. And Reconcile isn't going to wait any longer, he's going to go right after him. Yeah, see, this is where Reconcile is not smart. When I was in the ring, I would wait for my opponent to get back in. I wouldn't get outside to chase him or walk after him. You let your opponent come to you. You catch your breath. You plan out what you're going to do. Oh, is that what you think Mavericks is doing? Oh, oh exactly. man, exactly. the first one in the ring always gets the advantage, look at that DDT. That was beautiful. Wow, what a difference a minute makes in this match. All of a sudden, Johnny Mavericks has reconciled down, and if he can ground this big man, his strengths are going to be minimal at best. Johnny Mavericks is doing exactly what he needs to do. Get the big man down, get him in a submission, make it so he can't breathe. Yeah, reconcile if he cannot use his lungs to breathe and he can't muscle his leg up to his feet. He's going to be almost a sitting duck in this position. And Chai Town T checking very closely to see if both shoulders were down. Reconcile's face is turning colors already. Wow, it's beautiful. I love to see it. His face is bright as his shirt. We have the microphones, Mavericks. We have the microphones. What do you want? I told you this 
want Steve Pittman. Did you not listen to me? I hear you, Brian. I, you don't have to get angry with me. I mean, you know I never liked you from the beginning. All right, well, we don't have to like each other, but we have to work with one another because we have to tell the fans what's going on here. And definitely, Mark Reckinstein trying to get the fans approval, trying to get the fans to help encourage him to get back to his feet. Reckinstein with several well-placed elbows to the midsection. Oh, front face lock here. Guillotine likes some mission maneuver. Wow, how is Reconcile still standing? He's, he's being choked out of here. Oh, he's down to a knee. I don't like the looks of this, Brian Knight. I think he's trying to choke him out. There's one. But that arm goes there's down three times. Get, there's two. One more and it's over. Oh, no. Not yet. Not yet. Slowly, Reconcile brings Mavericks back to, to a vertical base, but he's not letting go. Let's see that. He's hitting him right in the kidney. Oh, cradle like suplex, and Mavericks was not expecting that. And now both men are down. This is a matter of time. Which one of these two individuals will be able to get back to their feet? Who's going to win this? Well, you know who I'm going for in this match. Left hand across the skull. A follow up by a right. And now they're going back and forth. Several kicks to the hamstring, the left hamstring. Oh, look at that. He kicked him so hard in the back of the head. I think Mavericks might be out. Slowly, Reconcile brings Mavericks back to his feet and whips him into the new side. Oh, what a backsplash in the corner. Oh, that Larry will take their head off. Now, I will give Mark Reconcile one good thing here. He's big, like me. He's just like Oh, what impact! Folded him over and delivered a vicious uppercut right to the lap muscles. He's not, he's not giving this up yet. He's still got fight left in him. What a galleon effort by both competitors here. Both of them trying to prove something to this amazing crowd here in Dalton, Illinois, watching Urban Sports Entertainment at its finest as it's Mayhem 2012. Now, a series of jabs here by Reconcile. Oh, he tried to measure him that third time with the big one. Once again, trying that front face lock. Oh wow, he flatlined him right there. And he dropped him right on his face. 